your world, it's your girl Ashley, and I'm back with another video. As you can see, I have braids in my head. I did this myself. Bitch, you know I can braid, huh? Yeah, so I basically braided my hair in some box braids. And to, what I'm going to be doing today is showing you how I transform these into a box braid bob so i have my braids i have my flat iron and i got my scissors so these are the two main items that i use when i tr do a box braid bob i've only did a bob like once before and i'm going to insert a picture down below of how my bob looked it the last time that I did it. And I basically wanted to do a video showing how exactly do I that I do my box braid bob. So basically what I did is I braided. I didn't braid all the way down because you know majority of the bottom is gonna be cut off. So I braided down to a certain length and then I just put a little small knot at the bottom so that the braids wouldn't come down and I got a head full of them now last time I did my braids bigger so um I had less braids this time I wanted to be I wanted to have like a more fuller look so I did them kind of small and I did my um parts smaller as well so First, I'm going to start off with the one that's closest to the end. So, basically what you have to do is, I'm trying to decide where I want my braids to stop. So, I'm going to do it right here. Let me make sure my, ooh, that's hot. I have my flat earns on 400, as you can see right here. Um, and this is what I keep my flat irons on, period, even if I'm, like, flat ironing my hair. Because I know the max of 400 is where you won't have um, it's, like, the pretty much normal. And that way it won't, it won't burn your hair. So you won't have so much damage to your real hair. And so I think I'm going to stop about here so basically what you got to do is press the flat iron against the hair and basically what the flat iron is going to do is pretty much melt that area right there let me see here it's pretty melted it's like really hot let me see i don't know if you can see it yet you can see it so this part right here and basically now you got to be careful because doing this is like really hot so basically what I'm going to do is cut towards the end and voila, I actually cut at the wrong part, so I'm going to Press it down a little bit more. So that it can. Yeah, I didn't leave it on there long enough. You have to make sure it's on there long enough so that when you cut it, your hair won't unravel. And what I'm thinking is I might have to use my other flat iron because I think last time I used I did this I had to use my other flat iron so that's what I'm about to yeah because it's, it's, it's doing it but not me so I have like three pair of flat irons let's see I can't remember which one I used I'm just gonna plug it up into it because I really I think it was this one I really don't remember which one did the trick. Oh my gosh. Oh 
this so tied up. Okay, turn the flatteners on. Now, as you can see, it's time to throw these away, but normally one flat iron does the trick when another one doesn't. So, I'm going to cut these off, and I think I'm going to use this to, like, pretty much curl this side. So, like, it's together, but not like I want it to be, so I'm going to use this. To press it down a little bit more so I'm gonna have this side this long and I think I'm gonna have this side long this long as well but just I'm gonna have some braids going into a swoop so yeah I'll be back once I get some of them done so I'm back as you can see I have a few done this one is kind of short because I didn't braid it down long enough but that's okay um so basically i'm doing mostly at a time because i have so many braids in my head so just press it down a little bit y'all when this is done it's gonna be so cute if you don't know me i love my box braids but seeing this though it's been a, I, when I have box braids, I normally have them bigger that way I, it won't be so heavy, but seeing as I have so many, I turn it to a bob so that it won't be so heavy. And I love this look because like, it's easy to put up, well not so easy, but it's not so much hair to where it has your neck high. Um, it's it's manageable let me put it like that it's manageable so that it's short but at the same time you can also put it in put it up because of how long it is so I'm going to do some more and I will be back to let you guys see it so, I have one side done. As you can see, only thing that I have to do with this is pretty much curl it under, which I will do that at the end. As you can see, it's curled a little bit. I do that at the end, so I got this one side done. Let's see in the back. Happy now. I just got this side, but I'm gonna split this side up because some of it is gonna be swooped. So let's see. I'm saying. Let's see. I probably do. Last time I did my hair, I did only two rows. So this time, I'm going to do three rows that'll be swooped. And the rest of it is going to be regular. <laughs> I look so crazy. Regular like these. Yeah. So I'm going to finish this and then I'll be back to show you how I do the swoop braids i'll be right back so as you can see i finished this is kind of i kind of layered this side because you know it's gonna be this part right here is gonna be swooped but this is the whole thing Now, I'm just going to show you guys how I do this part. So, I'm going to go layer by layer. So, I'm actually going to do this at an angle. Let's see how 
short do I want? I think I'm going to go about right here. And as you can see, I'm doing it at an angle. So. Yeah, I've been writing since I was... 12 my mom was a cosmetologist so she was like she just so happened to buy me and my sister um you know the little mannequin heads that they use in, in the hair schools she bought me and my sister that and we just started practicing braiding on the mannequin head so I'm going to do this one a little bit longer than I did the first layer because I want it to be layered. So, and it's still going to be at an angle as you can see. Yeah, I think the next time I do a pop, I'm just going to do straight black because I had a hard time trying to seal the ends of this brown. Because actually the brown is a different brand of hair. So it was kind of hard to seal it. But that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. Because I got it sealed as you seen. Okay, that should be sealed. Now let's do this last layer right here. And then I'm going to cut it. I still got to carry out the ends of my hair. I'm going to cut it. And then I'm going to... Um, ah. <laughs> yeah, I just burned myself on the other braid. The ones I just did. Now... I'm so happy it's this one is actually fuller than the last ones I did because I told you that they were bigger. I still love it. And if you guys would like me to do more hair videos, I would gladly do it because although I know how to braid, the only people with hair I braid are is me and my daughters because my braid hair sometimes my hands get the cramp in the back, so I think I had a copper tongue a little bit. So I'm gonna let this cool off and I'm going to cut the ends of these. I'm gonna cut it at the end of the where it's melted at. I'm basically gonna curl the ends of it. So okay. So basically basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it like I'm actually curling my actual hair. You can see. No, it's not. I'm gonna have to probably ride it. Oops. 
just smile. I don't know. Roddy and dip it. I don't even know if I have still have my rods. Hopefully. Yeah, probably this not gonna it's not you know it doesn't want to act right today, so I'm more than likely gonna rod it. Which is totally fine. I'm so hungry. Okay. So, when I ride it, it's going to be Flexi rods it. I gotta find them. But I'm gonna flex it rod these. As you can see, that is how I turn my box braids into a bob. And I'm going to flex a lot of these over here and do them in hot water. And I'm going to insert a picture at the end of this video. This is all the hair that I cut. Hope you guys like it. I'm gonna flex a ride with this. Probably should just keep it longer. Not like the rest of it, but that's okay. And I'm gonna flex a ride this. Because I know this is gonna get first. So I'm going to flex it right this and then I'm going to insert a picture at the end of the video. I love you guys. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment and share this video. Let me know if you like some more hair videos. And I got you. I love you guys.